This is the second dive I did at the Kohai Yai group. Uh, it's the larger of the five islands. And I start the dive heading down into the deeper sections of the reef. There's a large field of hard coral and hiding in amongst the hard coral are many different kinds of juvenile fish. And I start by moving in for a close up of these guys. They're called cardinal fish. Uh, they stay in large schools when they're juvenile and as they get older they become solitary. Most of this particular island is covered in schools and schools of glassfish. Glassfish being a generic term for any kind of juvenile fish. These guys are actually called juvenile sweepers. And you can see them here being hunted by that blue wrasse swimming in above them there. This is a Godfrey sea cucumber. He's just sitting there on top of the reef, seemingly oblivious to the chaos going on around him. Those snapper there in the middle of the frame are called checkerboard snapper. And in the Andaman Sea, anywhere where there's schools of glassfish, you will see checkerboard snapper. These are called pinnate spadefish. And this is an unusual shot because it's quite strange to see them resting on the sand there. They're normally hanging up in mid-water. I film anemones just about every dive, but this one's quite unusual because it has a skunk anemone fish living inside it. And they are the hardest ones to film. They're very shy. The shallow sections of the reef literally covered in glassfish. I came across this small cave in the deeper sections of the dive and you can see the sunlight filtering through and it was quite by chance that this large free swimming moray decided to swim into the cave. It's actually a giant moray. It's very unusual to see morays outside of their hole swimming around. So this is a really lucky shot. Moving up towards the shallower sections of the reef, I come across this Titan triggerfish. He's one of the most feared fish in the Andaman Sea. Uh, anyone who dives regularly around Titan triggerfish will be well aware of just how dangerous they can be. If they're nesting, they will attack you. It's beautiful to see how he's using his pectoral fins to stir up the sand there while he searches for some food. <laughs> 